children. When did you get here? I've been so busy with my latest experiment that I didn't even hear you come in. I'm so glad you're here. Let me tell you what I've been working on. It's so big and amazing that you are not even going to believe it. Wait for it. I am going to change the world. Change it. All of it. The whole world. There are so many problems in the world and I'm going to fix all of them. I haven't quite figured out how to change them all yet, but I'll figure it out someday. Probably by the end of the week. I heard you're trying to change the world. Yes, 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 you're exactly right. Are you here to help me? Who are you? What do you know? I'm always looking for clues. My name is Nicodemus, and I don't know the secret of how to change the whole world, but something interesting happened to me late last night that I think might help you. Last night? Aha, it was dark last night. We must turn off the lights. That must be the secret to change. Um, I don't think that's it. In any good experiment, you have to test the theory. Let's keep the lights off and we'll go on. Like I said, it was nighttime. I went to find Jesus. Why did you go at night? It seems like a strange time to show up uninvited. Well, I'm a synagogue leader. A synagogue is kind of like your church. And some of the other synagogue leaders did not like Jesus. Some even wanted to have him killed. <gasps> And he was doing and saying all these amazing things, and I had questions I wanted to ask him, but I'll admit, I didn't want the other synagogue leaders to know. I was afraid of what they'd think of me. Questions? I love questions. I ask questions all the time. Why is the sky blue? How far is Earth from Jupiter? How many types of flower are there in the world? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're getting off track. Try to stick with me. As we were talking, Jesus said the strangest thing. He said I had to be born again. Born again? He said that? That's perfect! I've been working on this change machine and now I can put it to good use! Wait! I'm gonna send you back in time so you can be born again, just like Jesus said! I don't think... It didn't work! You look exactly the same! I thought you might be a cute baby or something. You didn't let me finish my story. When Jesus told me that I had to be born again, I said, Jesus, I'm a grown man. How could I possibly be born all over again? That is an excellent question. I thought so. Jesus told me that my body didn't need to be born again, but that I could have a new kind of life as a part of God's family. He said that God's spirit gives us this new life. God's spirit is like a blowing wind. We can't see the wind, but we know it's moving. Wind? I love wind! Let's get some wind going in here. That must be the secret ingredient to change! Ah, it seems that the wind is changing things, but not quite in the expected way. Could you help me with these papers? Now, where was I? You were talking about Jesus and... God, and wind, and God's spirit. Yep. Well, Jesus didn't stop there. He told me how much God loves all the people of the world. God sent Jesus to be the light for the whole world. Light! Just when I thought the darkness was the key to change, it turns out it was light all along. Yes, well, not just any light. Lamps are great for lighting a room, but... What we need is the light of Jesus, which shows us how to live and how to love the people around us. Then, we can be the light of the world too. I can be a light? My mom always told me I was bright. Oh, you're bright all right. <laughs> well, it's a late night and I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna go take a nap. Thanks for stopping by, Nicodemus. You sure gave me a lot to think about. <laughs>